All right, now I want to come at democratic education from a, a historical perspective, briefly, looking at traditional, modern, and what I call integral education, of which democratic schools are the best example today. Fill a bucket could be the guiding metaphor for traditional schooling, typically serving agrarian times and places. Teachers poured knowledge into students. But a century of science debunked that idea. Knowledge is not a substance, and learning is nothing like filling an empty vessel. Now we know that knowledge is constructed by the learner, the outcome of an internal process. The child must be engaged to build knowledge, and engagement is best when secured by the child's personal interest and self-motivation. In modern schooling, the metaphor of filling a bucket was replaced with another, light a fire. Perhaps you've heard the William Butler Yeats quote, education is the lighting of a fire, not the filling of a pail. The idea has inspired millions of teachers and shaped classroom practices in modern schools. As suggested in this metaphor, the teacher sparks interest in a curricular objective, lighting the fire, and then leads students to construct the prescribed knowledge and insights. Then the teacher repeats the process, lighting another fire for the next curricular objective, and so on for 12 years through a predetermined chain of curricular objectives. The aim is to harness the power of children's curiosity, which we know is an essential condition for meaningful learning. You may already know the problems with that. Too often, the student's fires fizzle, and too often, the teacher burns out. In light of fire, we got the fire part right, the importance of children's spirited engagement. What we got wrong is thinking the teacher has to ignite it. On the contrary, children are born with fires ablaze, passionate and persistent in pursuit of their universal agenda, strive, thrive, and grow. That's the sustainable energy of education. Embracing what we now know about children's development, we can suggest a new metaphor. The fires are already burning. Democratic schools engage children's natural curiosity and tendency to strive, thrive, and grow. Instead of trying to stimulate the same interest in a room full of children all at once, democratic schools set each student free to follow their interests like stepping stones. We fan the flame. Just like life beyond school, each student picks out a path determined by their interests, needs, abilities, opportunities, and choices, powered by fires burning from birth. Self-powered and immersed in community, rather than goaded by teachers, children's lives and learning are more fulfilling and meaningful from day to day. Life satisfaction is not postponed until tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, nor subordinated to a curriculum that may or may not be relevant in an unpredictable future. Fill a bucket light a fire, fan a flame. Do you see the trend in these metaphors for the teacher's role? With better understanding of human development, the focus has shifted from the teacher to the child, from command and control to individual agency and self-organizing community.